Marrakesh played host to the 9th African Development Forum under the theme Innovative Financing for the Transformation of Africa. So how can we mobilize funds to transform Africa? We chat to the Executive Secretary of the ECA, the Economic Commission for Africa, Dr. Carlos Lopez. Mr. Carlos Lopez, uh, the ninth African Development Forum was uh, on innovative financing for Africa's development. We have come at the end of this forum. Now tell us about the importance of that forum, what it has brought out during these three days of debates here. You see, it's very important that Africans now don't wait to be told what is good for them. This forum is a, yet another demonstration of this assertiveness that is new because we are discussing innovative forms of funding Africa's transformation. And all this debate about financing is very much linked to a fora that is going to take place next year on innovative forms of financing for the world, and financing for development conference. And we are the first region that is actually putting together ideas way before others have started the discussion. Why are we doing that? Because we have been discussing for about two years how to transform structurally the African economies. That means we are not happy just having growth. That's excellent. We like it. But we want more. We want real transformation that creates jobs, that makes sure that the improvement in standards of living are visible, and more importantly, that we also tackle inequality in the process. If we are going to have that kind of an ambition, we know what we need to do because we can learn from other regions. There are adaptations that we have to do, but in, grow, in grosso modo terms, we can say we need better agricultural productivity, we need industrialization because that's what creates jobs, and we need also the formalization of the service sector. It's booming, but it's not really formalized. It's not part of the modern economy. How do you do that? Well, what do we have to do that? We have natural resources. We are negotiating them badly. We are not using uh, our power with certain natural resources to start industrialization, which is called in the jargon of the economists value addition. We need to add value to what we export, not export raw, because if we export raw, we are exporting the jobs with it because it's being transformed somewhere else. And we also need money for doing all of these things. Where do we get the money? Where do we get the financing? That's what the Marrakesh Forum was about. It was about identifying innovative ways of dealing with the big $1 million question, which is financing. And that is, illicit financial flows have to be arrested. Uh, our uh, domestic resource mobilization has to be upgraded. We need better fiscal systems. We need our central bank's reserves to be used for productive engagement in Africa. We need taxation systems to be completely reviewed so we don't have tax holidays and other different mechanisms that are basically giving a free ride to those who have a lot and penalizing the possibility of helping the small, medium-scale sector. And of course, we need also to deal with our diaspora in a much more constructive way. They contribute more money than development aid, and we don't pay attention on how we can transform remittances in productive use. We need to look into our commercial banks and tell them, look, you are too lazy because you have $8 billion that are not being used in the small and medium-scale sector that is sitting hidden because you prefer to just buy treasury bonds from governments and do nothing with it. So we need to basically believe in the African savings capacity. Because if we do that, we are doing what everybody else has done when they developed their respective regions. They started from within, they started with their savings, and then the rest can come. But I think this is the part that really is essential for real transformation. Mr. Lopez, uh, to take Africa to the next level, to its level of development, it's from what you have said and from what we have heard during the past three days, Africa has got what it takes to mobilize those funds. It has. It has. Uh, it's a question of policies. It's a question of actually starting the debate, as we are do doing, 
it's a question also of, uh, some would like to say, political will. I don't like that expression. I prefer, it's about determination, because you can have a will, but you just need to be determined. And when you are determined, it means it's more than just an expression of a desire. You are doing something about it. Africans need to really take this discussion seriously, because there is no region in the world that has developed without counting first in its own strengths, and we do have strengths, we do have savings capacity, and we are not using it productively. And the mechanisms also have to be put in place, and governments, I suppose, have their roles to play. Governments have an excellent opportunity to really move from just being celebrators of growth to being transformers of their societies. Some are more strategic than others. The Economic Commission for Africa and all the activists in this field are very interested in seeing more and more strategic moves. Uh, so we have now to celebrate much more the countries that are really transforming their societies rather than celebrating those who are just growing. Mm -hmm.